So one of the things I've been fascinated with for years is minimalism. And I would consider myself a minimalism, a minimalism, a minimalist when I have a smaller amount of space. And to explain that, when I have, like, when I was living in an apartment, when I was living um, in, like, a townhouse with roommates, I would fill up the space not because I like wanted to right it wasn't like oh I have this much space therefore I need to fill it it was like I need like I would just find more and more things that I needed and it would just kind of accumulate and grow to the point where I would be overwhelmed because you know I wouldn't want to clean because all these things are a mess and it's funny because letting go of things is so easy for me right but each time I would get into these situations of like being in a bigger space for example I when I was moving out of my first apartment my only apartment I got rid of like 90% of my stuff because I thought I was moving into my car full time and then two months after I was in my car I got the opportunity to live in a town home with some roommates and I began to fill the space of like okay the kitchen getting things that they didn't have um the my bedroom I stayed in the basement first so basement being larger I accumulated more storage stuff and it was like instead of like keeping myself at a steady amount of things I kept building up because I would gain more interest so I'd get more things and it was just like it was kind of funny to me thinking back on it and even now where I have so much stuff in the back of my car and I want to get rid of a lot of things but it's like it's almost more difficult because I've gotten to the point right now things that take up way too much space now like maybe 30 percent not even 30 well yeah maybe 30 percent of what I have back there is like food and spices right but the two storage containers behind me are solely things for cooking that maybe I don't even think about or use so I know first off like right off the bat I have to go through that I've gone through my clothes multiple times and I've gotten down to about a duffel bag but then I still have a whole nother bag of laundry right so then there's like okay maybe after doing that set of laundry I might have to go through that again but at the same time what's in the laundry bag are the things that I wear all the time and what's in the duffel bag are things that I probably wear a little less now I've kind of cut myself down to a few formal items that I haven't worn yet because I haven't been in those situations to but at the same time I know that okay I have one black collar shirt that I would wear um to an interview or to like a formal event or like a nice whatever and then I have like this midi really cute um black like bodycon skirt that I have not worn yet but I really want to and I have like these two pants that I can wear casually or dressy and I have two maxi dresses those are like the formal things now the maxi dresses I can wear at any point in a casual time when I just want to be a little more you know feminine um so I don't want to get rid of those I'm not going to one is green one is black and even though I went through a phase in my life where everything I had was black and when I'm trying to minimize it's very easy to just go right right back to that because you don't have to match anything with black but I want to have at least one pop of color so I can justify most of my clothes for now um I don't I have like one jacket that I wear kind of anytime it's cold whether it's like snowing outside or whether it's cold I have that one fluffy jacket I also have a hoodie that I don't really pull like I don't really grab as often as I think I would um I do live in Arizona currently so I have no need for it as much it snowed a few weeks back and I just used my jacket and I just used like this big um puffy sweater that I had that I actually got rid of because as much as it was comfortable to pull on it wasn't something that looked like I put much effort and I do want to kind of have a more fashionable minimalist but fashionable sense of style and I don't always want to like it was like two sizes too big which is comfy but not practical for looking put together so I got rid of that but I'm like I'm in this position right now where I'm like what else do I get rid of I have a lot of car stuff I bought stuff specifically 
specifically to get, do an oil change and I haven't been able to do the oil change so now I'm stuck with all that stuff and part of me is like do I return the oil because everything else I've opened um, I have a propane stove with two burners and I have a single burner stove that takes butane and I don't want to get rid of either of those because sometimes I need both and sometimes you know sometimes I might just want to use butane and a simple small um, camping stove is the easiest thing to use other times I might want to cook two things and I have like four things of propane that I never used and now I can because I have the propane camping stove so it's like this sense of just finding the balance of what you know I have very few things for Teddy I have his food I have litter I have um, his like two bowls and a pan I want to get him a pet carrier for if I ever need to go into somewhere and so my car needs to be worked on haven't had the money for that quite yet and that's gonna take up space I have a whole nother bag of toiletries that I definitely have to get go through but at the same time it's like I also don't want to get rid of toiletries because those are important things but I also shouldn't reserve a whole duffel bag of it right um, I have a foldable chair and table but the table takes up a lot of space because each individual part is like bulky right and I have it back there right now and it's like maybe I can replace this for something thinner and like easier to fold right so there's that um the chair same thing it's foldable it's like collapsible but it's still a little bulky so I really just have to like I have this big um pot that's meant to go over like a dutch oven style thing that's meant to go over coals and fire which i haven't been able to use yet and part of me is like a little annoyed that i haven't been because i want to i want to bake in it i want to use it but at the same time if i haven't already that might be something i need to get rid of right so talking through this video has already given me some ideas of some things but i'm also like okay what else you know i have a sleeping bag and a blanket and pillows those i can't really minimize anymore i'd actually like to get like an additional mattress topper but the food stuff in itself i can get rid of so i really just need to find space where i can do that comfortably and get everything out i've done it so many times over the course of the past few months since i've moved out into my car onto the road and it's like i'm always finding things to minimize and that is definitely something i would say to anyone who wants to do this lifestyle don't necessarily think that you have to put everything that you own in your vehicle as in you probably should downsize if you can if like finding things that have multiple uses right or buying something that maybe has multiple parts that you can use each individual thing at different times is really helpful um but yeah that's definitely a useful tip that i would say to anyone moving out or moving into their vehicle try to downsize as much as possible and also don't hold on to anything too strongly i know some people have storage units storage units to me feel like a waste of space and a waste of money because you know yes it kind of gives you that extra security if anything does happen to your vehicle but at the same time if you have the money to spend for it sure if it's something you find value with maybe you know you're going to move into a bigger space at some point um you're planning on buying like a house or something and there are some key app appliances and stuff you need to store do that but for me personally this is all i have planned to do and i'm traveling between states i have no plans on getting rid of a majority of my things so i'm okay with that um but yeah i definitely want to get rid of a lot of things and you know get to the point where i can breathe comfortably right where when i'm doing instacart or when i'm moving things around i don't have to throw half my stuff back there and it's a mess like not having to untangle a whole entire mess every single time i like settle down for the night you know um so yeah that is something that i just wanted to share really quick while i'm doing this instacart order i don't normally film when i drive but yeah i just wanted to do this because i just finished listening to a minimalism podcast and i really love like the the thought of minimalism 